Ladies and gentlemen, Shahayashka, a Yomukorogwitu, Avachira to Avachira, Avachira to Avachira, Amukorogu, Ogua graduation, Ninga Sokuzeka, Vitu, Urkuzakwani, Batuara, Omukorogu, Nuanetari, Tushabe, Mujizi. Kagambirizu itende chereli. Na bani nyenda kuwasha wa mustame. Abataka stamere mufunobu tebe. Omukoro ogu no kwa mutano. Aha mukoro itu bentujira. Weno tumachi fugesti kuzaku mbona gabamino garuguru. Uyavere lake. Omukoro ogu. Nuguzaku ikuwaho. Uh, Deputy Speaker. Omwana witu. Urukurugomu ni metoma, nuwe omujani mkuru, ahabuizo beri. So na nishawa, graduates, can they take up your seats? We are proud of you. Mweshi mwe kuturete la deputy speaker, akizo mkore ji, toko la ngurea wantu wa mani. Nobutu la etu wate gani si mwe kovidu tukachere lwa. Maybe God had planned it like that. This function is a special one. We shall also have a keynote speaker or a motivational speaker whom we have never got in this college. Madame Allen Kajena will be here with us. So members, Nimbatu Aranka and Tomoendo, Akwa graduation Zezume, na chief guest in Ababuzire. But for you, you are very lucky. Everybody has come to witness this occasion. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all. I want to welcome our parents, Abazire, Abachira, Abacharaha, Mwebare Kuizabinji, Ituenka College in Tube Simsa, Mutarichi Rizawa and Avani Wakijaha, Shomama Shomoga Engineering, Nito Gurutaria, School Fees in Tumangu Neve Gumere, Ascent and Taki Rireo, Konka Mukapas Stinga. Ma guzebja yu, michoto wa chela ha mukoro ogu, kanda ba na wanyu tuvara ba ri demuza maya, aba na wanyu ba kozire, kanda ba hika, tuwa hika ha mukoro ogu. Zakuzwe kwa na rushanju, armwa ba shinja na ba kazi, na ba kubano ba zuara diplomas, ezitueta national diplomas, obira tu kwa tuzeta. Ordinary diplomas, hati national diplomas. Nituzakuwa, nituzueka na wandi, awa somere haya diplomas. So, mwale, baba, na wadiaha, na gau, nituzukushana, nituenda kubachi, labona, omukapa stejo. May I request all the graduates to take their seats and the invited guests. Kindly take your seats. The procession has already started. You can hear the bands in the background. Kanda boku jango go mukoro no gwa mani. Kanda mwanya witu gwa gufunzire mwaka antu. I want to appeal. Abaruku teze vishane. Mustame. Aboku batichuwe ndakani chifu guest ya ya asta meraha. Omuti hata nche kwa ki not address. Kanda bareve ntu za verira. Ntu rabo misho ga chifu guest. Ntu enda tujurobu teka. And we shall not waste time. As we hear the bands, echo ni chima insa ngo mukoro guaza kutandika. Itenda chereri, avi inji tubaru kurumanya, koku wabuza, waku jangu na kahaya, injangu na wazira wadja ha, tumuruku maba anabanya iba herize, e jenu wajeta Uganda teke nko kore jibushenyi, ni inga CUTC bushenyi, Kind of graduates, take your seats. I don't want to see the chief guest, you entering in the same entrance. 
kandi mwe numumanya baheriza aha kusara mutabuka ntabuka abo kubatinkwenda bintu byo kuzabirira chief guest ya ya chiraha i am going to request that we close that gate utaka tahiremu na za kuronda harara bi i'm going to ask a fund chief guest ya ya tahiremu let no one start passing here so chief guest ya ya chiraha expecting any other person to pass by a funders take control utaka stamere aronda hararabi kwenda procession yitu kandi muze kujizabiriza a funders take control chief guest armuna ija ninyenda kubagambara okache ahitende chereri erya uganda take no college ubushenyi yabinjimu kumanyanka kahaya we katandika omwaka gwa rukumo rwenda atano na mushanju obwiro obwenga ruro trade school kongeka gumane yekura ya gumane yekura ya rga kutwara ba junior ya twara be cha mushanju ya twara abasini ya fo kuruga rukumo rwenda chinana nena ya ba technical college bushenye aze ya entering wara tae mubati nza basha batwemere twakire umukundwa witu kona rebo owayikiriza abo kubo muhendo ogu no gwo mutano kind of stand up and welcome our dear guest led by our chief guest who has kept time and is here to ensure that we have a successful function I want to welcome you, the congregation. Thanks for coming. Father, you are going to take us in a word of prayer. Kindly accept that. So, the chief guests are already here with us. Let's welcome them. Stand up and smile. They are led by the heads of departments who are going to read your names. They are followed by the academic registrars from respective departments. In the congregation, I can see the commissioner. Asas, please do your work. Asas, please do your work. Asas, please do your work. Madam, whoever is in charge of ushering, please do your work. Whoever is in charge, please do your work. So, you are all welcome. Can I see us as doing their work? Even if you have sat somebody on the table and you feel that is not where she belongs kindly, do that role. Now, Manya, take the lead as we continue with this graduation. We are going to proceed with the anthems. Kindly, band, take us through.
thank you. We keep standing. We are going to have Father pray for us. Our chief guest and members, according to our different denominations and the faith to which we subscribe, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord our Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of our chief guest. We thank you for each and every person that is here. We thank you for who, what, and where we are. In a special way, we thank you for this institution. You have been with this institution. You have been in, in the institution guiding us here and there. You have been reigning in the hearts of all the founders, those who took over, and these who are here. We particularly thank you for the gifts of our graduates this year. We thank you for you have enabled them to reach this far. We thank you for the skills that they have been able to achieve in this institution and those who have imparted and instilled these skills among them. We ask you to be with us even in this ceremony. May you reign. May you take control of our chief guests and the, the guests that are here already. May you continue to bless these graduates so that the skills they have achieved will help them to acquire the necessary knowledge that they need in the future so that as they go outside they will develop themselves they will develop their families they will develop this country and the world at large so that together with them whatever we continue to do will always begin in you and in you be perfectly completed for the greater glory of your name. And may the Almighty God bless these activities of the day, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I thank you. We can take our seat. The person who led us in prayer is our chaplain here, chaplain Catholic community. We want to thank you, Father, for leading us in a word of prayer. Our chief guest, I'm called Harriet Tushabe Harriet. I'm very privileged to be the MC where you have come to be the chief guest. This is our 12th graduation. We have been having series of graduations, but although we started a long time ago, this is the 12th graduation. I think people who were here before were never graduating. But finally, we are here for 12th graduation, where we are graduating students who entered here in 2017 and completed in 2019. And those ones who came here in 2018, they were supposed to complete in 2020. And unfortunately, because of COVID, they, they completed in 2021. So we want to welcome you. UTC Bushen. This institution started way back in 1956 as Kahaya Rural Trade School. So some people call it Kahaya. They don't know that it's Uganda Technical College Bushen. At that time, we were enrolling people who had completed P6. So they were doing courses like pottery, shoemaking, and later on, it kept on growing. We started bringing people who had completed P7. Then we continued bringing people who had completed Senior 4. That was 1982 when we became Bushen Technical Institute. Later in 1984, the college was elevated to Technical College and named Uganda Technical College Bushen. So we normally call this one as Kahaya because of its historical background. I want to Welcome everybody. Kindly, let's take our seats as we proceed with our program. For now, I want to see everybody seated because we are going to start our speeches. And according to our program, we shall have speech from LOC1. We shall have speech of the principal. We have a keynote speaker. We have speech of the chairperson of the governing council. 
speech of the presiding officer. We shall have a representative from the, from the ministry and they're already here with us. Then the chief guest will speak last as we read the names. I hope academic registrar documents are ready for the presiding officer to constitute this 12th graduation. So if they are ready, I'm going to invite the presiding officer to constitute this 12th graduation by giving us permission to continue. And this one is none other than UBTEB. By the authority entrusted to me, I constitute the Toros graduation congregation of Uganda Technical College, Bushen. I'm not hearing people clapping. Are you not happy that he has constituted this? I want to hear at least some good claps from the graduates. That is good. Now, can I see the chairperson LSC1? giving us a welcome remark. Chairperson LC1. Now, wherever I've been seeing these protocols, when the chairperson LC1 and sees the chairperson LC5 in press, they fear to speak because they fear the protocol. Probably he's leaving the chair for the chairperson LC5 to speak. At this juncture, we cannot leave this one to go. We shall receive the head of this district, Chairperson LC5. Welcome these people in your district. You are welcome, Mr. Jafar Wasajabaraba. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, 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 the guest of honor, none other than our own, the Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Uganda, Honorable Member of Parliament uh, for this district, Honorable Anit Katsimi Mujisha, the Chairperson of the Governing Council and members of the Governing Council, the Resident District Commissioner, of Shenyi District, the principal and your fellow principals of various uh, technical colleges in Uganda, uh, management of this mighty institution, parents, graduates, and other students of this college. I'm called Basad Jabarawa Jafar, the chairperson. I'm welcoming you to this uh, district. And I'm happy as the chairperson of the district to be part and parcel of this arrangement of government where we managed to be part of this skilling program. Without going further, I want also to recognize his worship the mayor of Shen Ishaka Municipality, uh, Honorable Bialhanga, and religious leaders present. For me, my task is very simple, is to welcome the guest of honor, and even to congratulate the graduates upon attaining this milestone. I congratulate you. Uh, last but not least, uh, guest of honor, I'm happy when I'm in the chair, uh, the chair of the district, and the chair at the same time, and I'm a member of the governing council of this mighty institution. I want to thank Madame Loy, yes, Commissioner Yupte. She, to it. Yes, she has been with us. She has given us technical advice. And even I want also to thank the Minister of Education and Sports for the support they are giving to this institution. Uh, 
the guest of honor, when you look at this building in front of you, this is a project. You've been saying that we are, have, we are having like a small office there, but very soon we are shifting to this magnificent building, which is totally funded by the government of the Republic of Uganda, and we are happy. We want to thank uh, other development partners like Islamic Development Bank, the World Bank, and others, but not forgetting the government of the Republic of Uganda under the NRM government, under the clear leadership of His Excellency the President, Joel Kakutam Seven, for making us proud. Uh, guess of all, I want to make two important uh, things here. Uh, traditionally, we've been having this institution called Kahaya, but now it's called uh, Uganda Technical College of They have a program called Real Life. Real Life is where students uh, in different disciplines, where they construct during their practical work, those with civil do the construction, plumbers do the work, electrician do the same, and at, at the end of the day, during their practicals, they end up having a full house, which most of these uh, lecturers at this institution occupy. So for us, as we say the local government, we wanted this. You know, in most cases, government award contracts to contractors to construct schools and other projects of government. Since you had uh, the, head, the legislative uh, arm of government, you want to have a law that permits institutions of this kind to register companies and during their course of work or studies, these people can go to the field and contract work. One, they get skills, they get experience, and at the same time, uh, they get revenue for the institutions. Lastly, I uh, guess of honor, for us as a local government, when you look at the roads, we pledge that we can assist them with our machines. Yes, we have machines, and even we can have other machines and outsource it from the regional uh, mechanical wash, workshop under means of works to make sure that we pave these roads. The institution can only do funding because we are giving them at a dry rate. And with that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Nimba Tavarusia, Nimba Chira Bunabariaha, Kind of the Zob Gwaji, Kahaya now is Kahaya, and I hope we are going to move beyond this. Nebio, Kind of the Zob Gwaji, Awe, Yamhanga, Arimri is with. We have no competition. Thank you, our chairperson, LC5, for that good speech, for what we have pledged to Uganda Technical College of Shen. We can add him, a hand clap. Okay, our chief guest today, allow me to introduce the most important people we have in this region. Our honorable members of parliament have been invited, but because of our official duties, they were not here, and they are not able to be here. We are very privileged to have Madam Honorable Annette Mujisha, who is a woman MP here for Bushenyi District. Madam, you are most welcome. Chief guest, allow me to introduce another important person, MP for the elderly. Jora Mutubasima. Honorable Jora Mutubasima is part of Uganda Tekken College of He served at Uganda Tekken College of as a member of governing council for a number of years and as the chairperson finance committee. So he has that attachment for Uganda Tekken College of 
you are welcome. On this note, allow me invite the principal to come and give his speech. Uh, our guest of honor uh, this morning, Right Honorable Deputy Speaker, uh, the keynote speaker of the day, uh, the resident district commissioner, honorable members of parliament present, uh, our dear commissioner, Tivet Operational Management, uh, the chairperson of Shenyi District Local Government, and other chairpersons in our midst, religious leaders, uh, heads of Tibet institutions, uh, our development partners, graduates and parents, uh, all our invited guests, members of staff, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Sam Biagweri and I'm the acting principal of this college. Uh, our guest of honor this morning on behalf of the entire college community of UTC Bushen and on my own behalf, I take this honor to welcome you to this uh, college and in particular to the 12th uh, graduation ceremony. Uh, join me, ladies and gentlemen, to congratulate our very own right honorable deputy speaker for ascending to this important seat. As a great of shame, we are honored and we scored. For us, it is a plus. Uh, today, our guest of honor, we celebrate 703 graduates who successfully completed their studies, leading to the award of national diplomas and higher diplomas of Uganda Business, Techn and, Uganda Business and Technical College. Uh, of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board, UBTEB. Of these, I'm glad to report that 102 are female, representing 14.5%, and 601 are male, representing 85.5%. Uh, this marks our 12th graduation ceremony at UTC Bushen. In our history, it is on record that we have hosted the sitting uh, deputy speaker. It has never happened. I want to thank you out of your tight schedule to spare time to come and preside over this important occasion. Uh, I want to appreciate the graduates before, before us today who have withered hard and sometimes harsh conditions to get to the end. It is a day for all of us to celebrate. I therefore take this opportunity to congratulate the graduates for this achievement. I also want to congratulate the parents for paying fees and do all what it takes to have these people graduate this morning. Uh, for a very long time, technical education has been regarded as an area for, for the weak, for the academic drafts. But now, over time, the situation has changed. Uh, our guest of honor, I stand here to appreciate the government of Uganda under the able leadership of His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni for investing heavily in technical education and in particular UTC Bushen. Of recent, a lot of infra infrastructure has been put in place, modern equipment procured, and we have uh, a fleet now of vehicles. We have a bus, uh, a poster, and a pickup. And this we have, we, we, we had our lorry here, which is very, very old. Now the history has changed. And I want to appreciate the government for that. Uh, as management and the college, we pledge to continue training and skilling Ugandans as we get ready to the world of work. Uh, the graduates before us, uh, our guest of honor, we received them as mere students and raw materials for that case. But now they are graduates and they are working in, in different fields of work. Uh, our guest of honor, all this has been possible because of the government support. 
uh, the chairperson local council five Bushenyi has hinted on the real life uh, project which helps us to skill, skill students. Uh, we have issues of financing but we are managing and we continue to appeal uh, for funding in this area because that's the only way we can skill these Ugandan. Our guest of honor, it is my pleasure to report that our enrollment has increased tremendously from 719 in 2019 to 12,093 in 2022. Of these, 221 are females. As UTC Ushenyi, we continue to advocate for female participation in technical education, and we are slowly but surely achieving this. Uh, this is attributed to the good infrastructure you are seeing, and also a management effort to advertise and sensitize the masses. The college is destined to becoming a center of excellence in manufacturing, and the required infrastructure, a state-of-the-art equipment, staff development is underway. Our management still pledges to offer its best to transform this college into a center of excellence in manufacturing trade. Our guest of honor, whereas the college has received decent accommodation, we still have a challenge over to accommodate female students. By given the location of this college, it is very difficult for ladies to allow them to get uh, accommodated elsewhere outside the college because of the, 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 they, are, they are delicate. So it is my appeal to you, guest of honor, that we look into this issue of securing a hostel specifically for ladies. Uh, the current girls' hostel was designed for 112 girls only, and as I have already reported, we already have 221, and we are still advocating for more girls to embrace technical education. Uh, our chief guest, uh, the college continues to appreciate government for funding towards the construction of the administration block, which is before us here. I have taken your comment seriously. That office surely is not fit for the principle of a center of excellency. And uh, I pledge the next time we come for the next graduation, we shall be here. We are happy that soon the college will have a befitting admin block that matches with the standard of the college. Uh, to our graduates, allow me to congratulate you once again. The college has done its part and we have also fulfilled the requirements for this award. I therefore implore you to go to the world of work and exhibit professionalism. It is my prayer that you will become a mirror of UTC Vushenyi wherever you will go. Please be ambassadors of this college. Never feel shy to associate with UTC Vushenyi. Join alumni association and, and contribute to the development of this, of this nation and the college. Um, Keep in mind, every person is usually judged by his or his own works. Uh, this college is known for producing the best technicians in the country. You are therefore urged to continue protecting the name of this college and lifting our flag higher. Our chief guest, allow me to thank uh, our governing council, chaired by engineer Dr. Silva Mugisha. With due respect, please kindly, uh, I want to introduce you and thank you so much for the support and the entire governing council. Uh, with them, we believe this college will continue to shine and shine. Uh, in the same way, allow me to appreciate members of management and the staff for the far they have moved this college. With these men and women, we would not have cel be celebrating this. And at this point, I want to introduce my staff. Kindly, with due respect, be on your feet for recognition. I thank you so much. Our guest of honor, allow me to appreciate uh, the leadership of Ushenyi District Local Government, led by the District Chairperson Haji Jafar Rivasa Javalava. He has already given a speech. Uh, sir, I want you to, explain, to extend our sincere thanks to your government uh, for supporting this, uh, this college. I further want to appreciate uh, the former principals of this institution, uh, in particular, Associate Professor Moses Tres Gome, uh, kindly stand up for recognition. And Mr. Silva Mukwasiwe, 
Uh, our guest of honor, you can hear the clapping. Most of these most of, most of these graduates were admitted in their time. I'm just making a year here. That's why the clapping is more than mine. Uh, I also want to thank the Principals Forum. We have a Principals Forum for all UTCs. Uh, the forum is chaired by Mr. Mkwasiwe. And I want to thank you for your guidance. In a special way, I want to thank Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board for guiding us in assessment. They have introduced very many reforms uh, which are really helping us to produce competent and skilled manpower. To our dear parents, I want to thank you for paying fees. It is not easy. Uh, join me to clap for these parents. Please thank you. On top of paying fees, you have allowed your children to, to join technical education. Please. Uh, I thank you and I sincerely thank you for that. Uh, to the employers present today, our chief guest, I want um, the management is very grateful for your continued support towards training and employing our graduate, our graduates. In, in particular, I want to appreciate uh, the Uganda National Roads Authority, headed by our keynote speaker for today. She's about to be here. And Madam Alien Kajina, they have not only trained, but they have even retained uh, most of our trainees. National Water and Sewerage Corporation, headed by our own Chairperson Governing Council, Engineer Dr. Uh, Silva, we want to appreciate you so much for always allowing our graduates to, to train with you, and you have retained so many, so many. You go to any branch in this country, you'll find a graduate of UTC Vushenyi. In, 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 that, in, that, in that branch. We want to appreciate you wholeheartedly. Our other partners like UMA, GIZ, and Barclays Bank, the college is so grateful. We also thank uh, our other development partners like World Bank and USDP, Rebi, and HISFAB that sponsor a number of our students here among other partners. Uh, the, 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 the ED of HISFAB promised to come. I don't know whether he has come. Is already here. Can I introduce the the chief executive, the executive secretary of his fab to please stand up for recognition? You are most welcome. Our guest of honor. Most of the parents are not able to pay fees. These people have given us sponsorship. Very many of our students are sponsored by his fab. Uh, lastly, to our current students, this is a challenge to you. Endeavor to read hard, and that in the future you should also enjoy uh, a day like this. As I conclude, allow me to once again appreciate our chief guest and our keynote speaker for today, and all the invited guests for being here with us today. Your presence uh, makes us loud and portrays the value to you attached to this uh, mighty college. I continue coming to your college, and we pledge to serve you better. Uh, finally, I once again congratulate our dear graduates and wish you the best of today. Uh, as I conclude, uh, our guest of honor, allow me to present to you the best performing candidates for recognition. Uh, in 2017-2018, we have two. Uh, as I read your name, please make your way to the front and to be recognized by our guest of honor. Because you distinguished yourself from the rest, that's why we are organizing you this morning. Uh, Mr. Kenneth Vusinje. Kenneth Vusinje and Joan Gumoshave. This is the cohort of 2017-2018. Please make your, your way forward to receive the accolade and also be recognized by our chief guest. Person governing council and, and the chief guest, please. I invite you to recognize these mighty men and women for their outstanding performance. Kenneth Businji has made it here, uh, Madame Gumoshave is engaged. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Kenneth, for the hard work you can have. Yes, uh, 2018 2019. May I call forward uh, Mr. Geoffrey Awori.
Uh, Geoffrey, we appreciate and uh, recognize you this morning. Hard work pays. I may call upon Madam Monica Kichoncho. Kichoncho Monica, is she with us? Okay, but we will extend our position to her and thank her for her hard work. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, allow me end here and I thank you so much and may God bless us this morning. Thank you very much, Principal. For the good words you have given to us for encouragement and for the promise that you are going to keep UTC Bushen doing very well uh, academically and in the world of work. Our principals, our dear principals who are here today, uh, allow me, chief guest, Mr. Silva Mukwasibwe, when he, the, he mentioned about your name, these people clapped so high. Can you step forward so that at least they have a look at you? Ah, uh, you can hear the noise. Mr. Silva Mkwasibwe was the principal here. 2005, I think up to 20, up to 2019. We want to thank you. All these developments. Initially, Kahaya looked like a small secondary school or even a primary school. At least he has seen them reach this far. We want to thank you very much. And we know wherever you are, you are, you are doing wonders. He's now the current principal, Uganda Tech and Go College, Ichwamba. And they are specializing in, in oil and gas as a center of excellence. At this time, allow me to introduce also a person who served here, I don't know how many years, so many, Mr. Mulima Paul. Step forward. Ah, Mulima Paul, I don't know. He has been here uh, for so many years. He worked in Ichwamba as a principal. He worked in Iri as a principal. He's now a principal, Uganda Technical College, Elgon. He's a principal who has seen all the Technical Colleges. So clap for him and welcome him. At this time, allow me to welcome the principal, UTC leader. UTC leader, Mr. Jacob Akunovere, step forward. These are the people who are really moving centers of excellence. His college is a center of excellence in road construction. They have so many equipment of road construction. We want to thank you for steering UTC leader. You can also take a seat. I have not seen Mr. Musazi. If he's around, he can wave to us, Mr. Musazi. Principal, UTC chair, I've not seen him. Thank you, our chief guest, for allowing me to introduce those important people. Now, he said, the former the principal was here speaking, that he's not even a year old. Engin engineer, doctor, Moses Twess Jomwe, is the one he has just succeeded. Most of you went through his hands, and you know how good he is. Kindly, Dr. Step Forward for recognition. <laughs> Dr. Moses Twitch Yomwe. Nevamweta Chief Muse Yin Wogu. Aha. Ejesha, Ogomushija Mwena Varia Havoko and Akusaka upgrading. He's a dean of students, Kavare University, Engineering Department. Oko Kumura Rugaha is here to take you on. Thank you, Chief, for being with us, and we are very happy to receive you today. Our chief guest at this juncture, allow me to call our chairperson, beloved engineer, a doctor, to come and give you a brief. Wewe wali mnonga hali yeti.
ni manyangu abazira wa mwetu wa kuchenga rujungu na wecho our chief guest you allow me to be mixing in some local language the right honorable deputy speaker of parliament who is also our chief guest the honorable members of parliament the minister of education officials the district leaders we have here, headed by the chairperson, ROC5, members of the governing council who are here, religious leaders, heads of other institutions, representatives of the private sector, the staff, parents and graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Governing Council members, our chief guest, I take this honor to welcome you and other invited guests to this college. And indeed, your visit, our chief guest, is of great significance to us. We've never had a presiding chief guest here of the level you are. So I want us to give a big, big hand clap to our chief guest. I would like to thank management and staff for having prepared these graduates to get to this day. This comes with effort that has been put in by management and staff of this college. We really want to thank you for that. I would also like to thank and congratulate our graduates for making it to this day. I also thank the parents for educating these children up to this day and of course, up to this very important milestone. Our chief guest, I would like to thank my fellow members of the governing council, whom I request at this juncture to stand up for recognition. Members of the governing council. Is it only one? Oh, and here. Thank you very much. You have worked tirelessly to provide strategic direction to this college and we really thank you. In a special way, I appreciate the principal and the entire management team for the good working relationship and good management practices which you have exhibited. As members of the governing council, we have not got any challenges in working with management of Uganda Technical College, Bushenyi. Our dear chief guest, allow me to thank the students' community, led by the guild president, for the discipline they exhibit. Our chief guest, our council has student representatives headed by the guild president, and our working relationship is very cordial. We allow them space at the governing council to air out their views, to make their contributions, and we think that level of ventilation is good to avoid conflicts. Ever since we joined this college in 2018, we have not had any uprising, and that's the reason we appreciate everyone, especially the student representatives. We request the current students to continue with this spirit. In the same way, our chief guest, allow me to thank our parents for the support towards these graduates to achieve their dreams, despite the financial challenges that came with COVID-19. As council, we are pleased that at least we've been able to graduate these students during our term of office. We're also going to make history by serving on the council and we finish without graduating students because of COVID. So thank God, as the council, this is a very, very great milestone. Honorable Chief Guest, what we are celebrating today is a result of good governance under uh, the leadership of His Excellency President Yoweri Kaguta Museven, which has put an enabling environment. I think you clap for the president of this country. I want to appreciate him, the Minister of Education and Sports, Mama Janet Museveni, and all the entire Ministry of Education and Sports officials, represented here by Roy, who is here. Madam Roy, once again, want to thank you very much for having your heart in Tivet, and most importantly, for having your heart here at Ushen Technical College. Thank you very much. 
With this enabling environment, the ministry has come up with TVET policy that is coming with a number of reforms in our technical education. These reforms will see more people skilled as required by employers. Before TVET was, li before TVET was limited to a few people, especially those that manage to study science, and more especially like technical colleges where people required A level or its equivalent. With the new reforms, our chief guest, we see more Ugandans getting access to skills education, young or old, educated or less educated. In the same reforms, we expect an establishment of a skills development facility in every constituency, a vocational training institute in every district a regional polytechnic in every region, and a technical university. Our chief guest, if the possibility of establishing a region, or rather a technical university, we request you to make sure or to see Bushen Technical College as the best place to put this national technical university. We have already resolved, as members of this council, we shall continue to embrace all opportunities to avail the skills to Ugandans. We have already resolved as a council to introduce a short courses that are competence-based in various disciplines. I request our mother ministry to continue supporting us in ensuring that these short courses start. And this specifically goes to Madame Roy, the Commissioner for Tivet. We, have, we want to skill Ugandans. We don't want to limit ourselves to those who have gone through formal education. Even those who are in the informal sector, we think they can come here for about three months. We impart skills, we sharpen them more, and give them a qualification. By doing that, we will be validating what they are doing would be giving them opportunity to show everybody that what they are doing, they have been satisfied by a credible institution like Ushain Technical College. Our chief guest, please allow me to highlight a few achievements at the college. With the help of funding from government of Uganda, some people confuse this. This, all these things have been done by funding of the government of Uganda but which is a loan from the World Bank. And they have done this through the Ministry of Education and Sports under Uganda Skills Development Project. The college has acquired modern workshop equipment, transport equipment that include a bus, coaster, and a double cabin. We have also acquired a number of infrastructure that include an auditorium which you have visited our chief guest, a hostel facility, classroom block, a generator house, and some workshops. Workshops are also coming up, and I think that's what makes this place a very important place for training skills. In the same project, three workshops for welding and metal fabrication, production of technology, and maintenance technology are under construction. Routing of staff is ongoing, as 16 of our staff members will be traveling to France soon, for further retouring. All this is being done to prepare this UTC of Bushenyi to become a center of excellence in manufacturing that will, turn, that will in turn become a regional polytechnic. As members of the governing council, we appreciate the government for this investment. Government is also funding the construction of administration block, which is near which is near to its completion. We also appreciate the funding and further request that the ministry completes this project. This project is almost done, but I think there is some little money which is required to have it completed, and we hope the ministry will work towards availing us the budget. Our dear chief guest, allow me to point out a few challenges. And one of them is that the government funding, especially the, the capitation grant, has remained at 1,800 shillings per, per day per student, something that is very low to meet the current cost. 
This same rate is paid to government students when they go for industrial training. In the same way, with the current training, students are required to carry out real-life training, which requires materials, as the chairman of C5 was explaining. The college of recent is receiving money without CBET component. On behalf of this council, through you, our chief guest, we request that capitation grant be increased to match with the current demands and also constitute, continue funding real life projects. As a person, I don't like requesting money. I like requesting for opportunities to enable me to make money. This speech was prepared on behalf of the council. If I was a person, I would, if I was the one, I would not read these requests for money. I would read requests to be availed space <laughs> has cut me off because I was talking about I was talking about the money. What has that huh? So what do we do? You take a look of people. <laughs> Engineers. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, our chief guest, this is a technical institution, so if, if anything goes wrong, uh, working on it is, uh, is very easy. So, I was saying our chief guest that it is, it is much more better to ask for opportunities, and I think the chairman did it. If we can enable, if we can be allowed to introduce some of the income generating projects here, and if we can be, and there is a lot of, there are a lot of things we can use here to be able to serve the community and in return earn some money. Our dear chief guest, the college has received new facilities with new infrastructure and equipment. However, our college network, the road network especially, remains unpaved. Through you, our chief guest, we have heard that Ishaka road shall be upgraded. I would like to request that when UNRWA is upgrading this road, they should also consider our road network in the college. The policy is there. It is normally a little bit of, of pushing and prioritizing. So our request here is not to introduce a new policy, but to also add on the voice to prioritize infrastructure here. On top of the opportunities that the chairman of 5 has mentioned using the district equipment. Despite the above challenges, we pledge to continue giving strategic direction to this college. We shall ensure that the available facilities are put to maximum use as to generate internal revenue. And for Madame Roy, this is where we underline that when we have ideas to generate internal revenue, let's have an enabling a policy within the ministry, within the law, to enable us to do this. We can pledge that if we generate this internal revenue, we shall put it to proper use as, as a college. Our dear chief guest and all invited guests, as I conclude, allow me to once again congratulate our graduates of today. I want to appeal to them to embrace the spirit of volunteerism. In this way, you will be able to gain the required skills and experience, which will eventually get you good jobs. I also want to implore our graduates, on top of looking for jobs, to use their skills to create jobs. It looks like creating jobs is easier and much more sustainable. So I want to implore you, and we also want to implore you to know that patience pays. You can't get whatever you want uh, at any time you want. You just have to work for it. And if you are patient, and if you are careful, and if you are calculative, and if you are innovative, you always get what you want. If you have a vision, you will definitely achieve 
your vision if you work for it. Continue to aspire for higher heights, and I'm sure God will help you to enhance your career. Thank you for listening to me, everybody. Thank you, our chief guest, once again for honoring our invitation, and for God and my country. Thank you very much. Thank you, our chairperson, governing council, for the good words and for encouraging us for becoming better Ugandans. For those who listen to him very well, for me, I picked one for the graduates that creating jobs is easier than looking for jobs. Of course, when you create jobs, you are also making for others. On this note, allow me to introduce one of our former graduates who has created jobs and is doing very well. He has a company called Murumba and Construction Company. Murumba Masias, he's doing very well. He's doing very well. Murumba Masias, stand up. Aha, uh -huh, there he is. At least we are happy with what he's doing and he employs many. He takes on students for industrial training. We are happy with what you are doing. Our chief guest, allow me to introduce Madam Aradisi, where are you? Can you stand up for recognition? Yeah, Aradisi is here with us. We have the DO in the house, DO, Bushenyi District. You are most welcome. We have the former chairperson empowering women, Bushenyi District Service Commission, Bushenyi District, Madam Lydia, who also happens to be a parent. The son is graduating today. You are most welcome. With the graduates, I want to appreciate one person on a special note. We had this brother, Richard. More, much as he was studying, but he was also very good in helping us in the discipline of the students. You really did your work and we are very happy. He was very hardworking. He would be the first one in real life. We are very happy with you. Allow me to introduce the, the former principal. We are here because these people were here and they were the first ones to take a home scene. Keko Muzei, where are you? Muzei Ogwe, Abanaba Kozere Kahaya Barba Principal. We are very happy to receive you today. On this note, Chairperson Yasi Mabazire, I have worked to her around a bit school fees, it took a cassette to Kabaso Mesa. Ninenda Kwachira, Omuzire Mukuru, Akagambe Gambo Vivid. This is none other than his fab. A Jesha has Fabu, a Nava Naha, but in Jerema Kumiatano, a vet Firo Maka Gokuvans. So, Mau Rabazire, Akagambocache, a Mobar Yoko of the school fizzy, they are here with us. We want to welcome you. I'm only giving you three minutes. Kujerango Jetu Agamba, Nanoxi Mabejibawe, you are welcome. Chief Guest Weber, a Kuncherza, Kunjera Mumzi. Thank you very much, uh, our dear chief guest, the keynote speaker, MPs present, the principal UTC Bushenyi, the academic and administrative staff, the guild president and your council, the graduates, parents of the graduates, our counterparts, distinguished invited guests, Members of the praise, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alison Nankunda Akankwasa, and I currently head the Department of Loans and Scholarships. I am here to represent the executive director who couldn't make it because he had other engagements. I now take this great opportunity to congratulate you upon the 12th graduation ceremony. I bring greetings from the Higher Education Students Financing Board, which most of the people call the Students Loan Scheme. We are a government agency under the Ministry of Education and Sports, mandated to offer loans and scholarships to Ugandans who wish to pursue higher education. 
I'm also here to celebrate the 38 of our student loan scheme beneficiaries who, among, who are among the graduates today. Let me uh, take this great honor to thank you for being committed, for being disciplined, because benefiting from the scheme has quite a number of terms and conditions, among which is discipline and hard work. I congratulate the college administration for consistently uplifting the education standards and equipping Ugandans with skills and training important for the development of our country. The, their course of life will forever be impacted. I also congratulate uh, our fellow parents and guardians with whom we worked closely to ensure that the students attain higher education. Congratulations once again. Uh, on behalf of the executive director, uh, we intend to provide loans and scholarships to Ugandan students who have qualified to pursue accredited programs in the recognized higher education institutions, but are unable to support themselves financially. Launched by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda in 2014, February, we started with 1,201 beneficiaries in the academic year 2014-2015. Over the eight years, the number has steadily increased to 12,780 beneficiaries today. This to us is a very great milestone. It is important to remember that we only pay tuition function of his research, aids and appliances for persons with disabilities, while stu students cater for their welfare components. It's a cost-sharing intervention. We would therefore like to thank the parents and guardians for supporting our beneficiaries by way of meeting their logistical expenses. The Higher Education Students Financing Board is without doubt the single biggest parent or sponsor for higher education in Uganda today. As a parent, when we enroll the student on the loan scheme, we make demands to them. First of all, they must not only perform well, but they should excel. We do not pay for students who are repeating or those ones who are retaking, and that is to encourage students to put in more effort and ensure that they walk out of the institutions with better grades. We emphasize discipline. Our students are required to be extremely disciplined. And on that note, I would like to congratulate the beneficiaries who are graduating today because they have achieved that. We would wish to remind our beneficiaries that we, that what you took um, was a loan, just like we briefed you from the beginning, and after the one year of grace period, which you will be granted, you have up to twice your study period to have this loan paid back. For students that did two-year courses, you have up to four years counting from the expiry of the grace period to have this money paid back, and it is that that will enable the board create a revolving fund from which we shall keep paying for the rest of the beneficiaries. To UTC Bushenyi, we want to thank the college administration, especially the principal, and your able team for the cordial and warm working relationship, which has ensured our students uninterrupted stay at the college. Because of this relationship, Bushenyi has hosted over 174 students under the student's loan scheme ever since 2014. And just last year, we were able to award loans coming to study from this institution to a tune of 59 students. We appreciate you for the effort that you put in for the mobilization and popularizing the scheme. Our dear uh, Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, 
one of the recognizable policies responsible for the remarkable increase in the enrollment of technical and vocational training in Uganda is the Higher Education Students Financing Board. In the last eight years of existence, more than 1,000 students in technical agriculture and conservation colleges have been supported to study various diploma programs. These students would never have attained higher education without the support of the Students' Loan Scheme. Honorable Speaker, sir, Students' Loan Scheme beneficiaries offering TVET uh, diploma programs are paying back their loans more faster than even those who did degrees. And for that, we must appreciate you and pledge to support more students in TVET as compared to other higher education institutions. The reason why the Higher Education Students Financing Board has decided to increase the diploma slots or the diploma program quota. To our dear graduates, we congratulate you once again and wish you the very best in your future endeavors and call upon you to start repaying back this loan as soon as you realize some cash flows for God and my country. Thank you very much for that wonderful speech. On this note, allow me welcome our keynote speaker. He's already here with us. None, none other than E.D. Yunra. Madam, you are welcome. Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of Parliament, the leadership of this institute, uh, the district leaders, honorable members of parliament, parents, all distinguished guests, and especially the graduates, good morning. I am a little bit uncomfortable, Right Honorable, speaking with my back to them. First of all, it's not polite. Secondly, I think they are the chief guest, actually. And so if you allow me, I want to turn this way. I'm sorry, the rest of you, but allow me to speak to these young people. Um, I'm truly, truly honored to speak at your graduation class of 2022. I was a little bit puzzled why I was asked, and uh, I think it was Engineer Mugisha having problems standing around. Eh? Um, I actually asked him, why me? I, I am not a, an alumni of the school. I, they said, well, you employ a lot of our people, or you should employ a lot of our people. So this is an opportunity for you to connect. So I am really honored and privileged to be here. I must have got the program wrong because I thought we were starting a little bit later. So I took my time on this journey. And I apologize, Right Honorable, for coming in after you. Just a few words. Um, first of all, congratulations. You have completed part of your journey, you're entering a new phase of your journey, but it is a significant journey and nobody should ever minimize the day of graduation, because the day of graduation is like a gate or an open door, and it, what a door does is just usher you from one room to another. So in a sense, you are leaving one room, entering another room. And how you enter the next room is defined by how you leave the last room. So what has your time here been like? How did you use every day 
that you were here in class, interacting with colleagues, getting to know your faculty, taking advantage of the skills that they have, making the best use of the investment that your parents made in you. How did you use the time that you were, that you had when you were here under the tutorship? How did you use the loans that were extended to you? Because that determines where you land once you cross the door. And I think we must, all of us, reflect where we are right now is determined by where we went to school and how we used that time. I don't want to speak about my own experience. I'm not very young, so it would take quite a bit of time. But I want to say that a lot of who I am and what I am is defined by how I spent my time, especially in secondary school and at the university. Had I wasted the resources, maybe I would not be where I am. Had I chosen to sleep in instead of waking up very early to finish S4 and S6, maybe I would not be where I am. Had I chosen to disregard my teachers and perhaps even look down on them or cut a class because it is boring or it is hard, perhaps I would not be where I am. And I want to encourage you to know that the, out, the world outside this door today is bright. We get told by so many people how the world is so difficult, isn't it? You open the newspapers and it's negative. You open Facebook and Twitter and many of us are on social media and all you see is negativity, negativity, negativity. That is not the actual world we live in because the actual world has both. But we tend to spend a lot of time undefining our lives around things that are not right. And I want to encourage you, class of 2022, graduates here today who have finished part of your journey, to balance your view of the world and the community that you come from and that you're entering. It is not all negative. Why do I say this? As part of my training, my academic background is psychology. And I know that how you tune or refine your mind determines how you look at life. If I wake up negative the whole day, I mean the whole night, I've been having nightmares, it is going to determine how I'm going to behave that day. I've become accustomed to looking for bad news. We've become accustomed how things will not work for us. We become accustomed to tuning to the negativity and you begin to speak it as if you own it and you make decisions based on a falsehood. My encouragement to you, there is good, seek it out. Today you Today you start to be counted in the Uganda's workforce, the statistics of Uganda's workforce. What is happening really is that you, you and I are witnessing a transition of 523 or 524 staff, I think, students from life, from student life to work. And that transition, like I said, is determined how you spend time here. I want to make two or three points and then I will sit down. You have the opportunity as you live here to leave a footprint on Uganda. Right now we have people who are recognizable because they leave a large footprint. We do not need to introduce the right honorable speaker, we all know him. Anybody who says his name or immediately positions him. My question to you, dear friends, is what footprint, what is the size of your footprint you're going to leave as you leave this institute? 
to go into the workforce? How will people remember you? How will they remember what impact? Now, the impact you have is determined by your attitude. Some people go through life leaving no impact. We will never know them. We don't know their names. We don't know their faces. We don't know where they went to school. When you mention them, nobody remembers them. And 20 or 30 years from now, you will look back and say, what is the size of my impact? That you live on others is what determines your growth in life. I want you to hear me, friends. The impact you live on others determines your progress, your success. So determine today that I am going to impact someone else. I am going to impact people positively. I am not just going to sit and be asked to get up and do this. I'm not just going to run to my relatives to ask for a job. I'm not just going to go to the honorable members of parliament and say, help me, because a lot of us, a lot of our young people have trained our minds to be beggars and askers rather than influencers. We want the big relative, the famous relative, to be responsible for us. My question to you, who are you responsible for? So number one, leave an impact on someone else because that determines your success. Number two, what is the size or the quality of your dream as you leave this institute? I hope, I hope you all have dreams, correct? Okay, a few people in the front said yes because they're near me. I don't know what the back said. I hope you have dreams for your life, for your future. If you have, don't have a dream right now, I would encourage you to go to take a nap and have a dream. Why is it important? Because a dream is an expression of your desire. What is the size or what is the quality of your dream? If you have small dreams, you will attain them, I promise you. If you have big dreams, they will challenge you. Some of us don't have a lot of dreams, don't have big dreams. We have just enough to get by. And so you leave impact nowhere, no one. Nobody gets to know you. Your dream is, if you were to grade it, I don't know how you grade papers here, but if you were to grade it, it is probably one of the, is it a pass mark or a failure? A, B, C, D. I want to encourage you to have an A plus dream. Ambition. There is nothing wrong with ambition. Be ambitious for greatness. Be ambitious for impact. Be an influencer. Let your dream to be where Honorable Tayo, right Honorable Tayewa sits. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you, if you plan to be LC one your entire life, I can't help you because you will achieve it. And that's it. What is the circle of influence of the LC1? Maybe 1,000 people, maybe 2,000, I don't know. But our right honorable speaker has influence because of his position over the entire nation and perhaps beyond. In my small office, the influence I have is on all of Uganda because you can't move until I do the roads. You can't. I, ha I had a big dream as a girl, a young girl growing up. I remember when I was in secondary school, one of my teachers wrote on my reports and said that I was bossy. Bossy, not in the positive way. 
you know, I, I was pushy. She didn't like it because when things got out of order, I wanted order. Organizing my fellow students, making sure I was in class early. I really had lugezgezi. I think I am here because I had lugezgezi. Had I sat back and said, ah, I don't want, I don't want anybody to know me. The truth is nobody would have. I had Lugezgezi because I do not like disorder. So, my friends, <laughs> these you young people who are leaving this institute today, who are graduating, the size of your dream will determine where you land in life, will give you connections. My final point is on connections. Go out and build networks. Go out and look for who is an influencer and attach yourself to them because you can then take advantage of their knowledge of their own networks. Go and do it yourself. I think for me, the, the, the best people, right or not, but the, the best people that I will employ the people, are not the ones who will send their father or mother to me, are the ones who will knock on the door and said, I need help. Why do I say this? Because I get so many calls from desperate parents. My daughter did so well. She can come and do, sweep your office. I don't want you to come and sweep my office. Your influence is too small if you're sweeping my office. I want you to come and do roads on my, with, with me. I'm especially looking for girls. Because... I have discovered, first of all, in UNRWA, when I joined UNRWA, the, the, the workforce, the women's workforce was very small, 5%. And you can, know where, you can tell where they were. They were secretaries, they were tea girls, they were chefs. So I went into the engineering group and said, where are the girls? I think they were one or two, and they were not even registered. I said, but how can this be? Half of the population of Uganda is female. How can this important institution not have enough engineers and technicians who are female? So we began on a really active recruitment to get the females. Now, the men should not get threatened. Your space is still there. It is. But I cannot sit back with the opportunity I have and not support the girl child so that they can take their place in transforming our nation. So I want to encourage you, build networks. Be a go-getter. Don't sit back and wait to be pulled up. Pull yourself up. Because out the, outside the gates of this institute are opportunities not take if you don't step out. Right Honorable Speaker, I didn't have many words to say. I just want to encourage these people and their parents that we have a virgin nation for development, that the opportunities are available. Like the Bible says, the harvest, the fields are ripe, the harvesters are few. I don't know if you know that scripture, but that scripture is talking about a wheat field. When you grow wheat, like us who grow maize, there comes a time of harvest. But if you have few harvesters, you might lose that crop. So Uganda is ripe. Uganda is ripe. The opportunities are there. And I hope that each and every one of us can become a harvester in the development of our nation. I thank you very much. Thank you very much for the encouraging words. Uh, this time I want to invite the presiding officer to come and he give his address.
our chief guest, the right uh, deputy speaker of parliament. I want to observe uh, protocol uh, since it has been repeated. And uh, I've distributed my speech and due to time, I'm going to, I'm not going to read it verbatim, uh, but I allow me chief guest to say three things. Uh, once again, I'm Dr. Nahamia Wilfred. I'm the Deputy Executive Secretary. I bring greetings from our Executive Secretary, uh, Mr. Onesima Soyesije, who was not able uh, to be here. And generally, I bring greetings from the board. But to mention is that the chairperson of, of Council of Bushen, Engineer Dr. Mujisha, also happens to be our chairperson of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. I would like to thank the college for contributing towards skills development. Uh, and they have done a lot. And I want to take note that as UBTEB, regarding our enrollment, the number of female students has been it is small, but it has been moving up. I want to add another point that we've, as a board, we've patterned with the, the world of work, and uh, we've made a number of uh, memorandum of understanding, and the aim is to improve the skills uh, in the TV sector. The skills that uh, can be highly demanded by the world of work. As a board, I want also to add that we started, in collaboration with the ministry, we started the modularization of assessment, and we started at lower level with the community polytechnics and national certificates. And I want to inform everybody that uh, come the next admissions, we are moving uh, into the diploma uh, programs, and uh, we would ask for your support. So I really want to thank everybody for the graduates. I think I can't add more than what the ED UNRA has said. Thank you so much. Thank you, presiding officer, for the short but a good speech. At this time, allow me welcome the representative from the Ministry of Education and Sports to give her speech. Then later, you will come our chief guest also to, to officiate this function. The right uh, honorable, the right honorable deputy speaker, and our chief guest, and our brother, our uncle, everything for greater Bushin. I want to take this opportunity to follow the protocol because of time. My, name's, my name is Loi Mukwezi. I am the Commissioner for Technical Vocational Education and Training, but I'm standing here to represent the Permanent Secretary, who Chief Guest would not be here because she had another assigned responsibility at UTC Lira. But she sends her greetings and uh, uh, Chief Guest, Mama, and the First Lady is aware that you are here. So on behalf of Ministry of Education and Sports, I want to, thank, to take this opportunity to thank you and welcome you. And I'm sure it is your first graduation to preside over. And we are grateful. People of Bushenya and Uganda clap for our Deputy Speaker. 
So we thank you for that love and we thank you for honoring the invitation of the Governing Council. We want to thank the Chairperson of Governing Council and the entire Council with the, uh, the head of the district being on the Council and uh, it is this good relationship between the political and the technical that we see you here today. We want to thank you. Uh, without taking a lot of time, a lot has already been uh, said, I want just to add my voice to thank government, to thank Muzehi, to thank Mam, to thank you, the parliament of Uganda, for everything you are passing to see skilling take place in this country in terms of non-formal, formal, informal, all kinds of skills training. We want to thank you. Uh, and we want to say that we are ready as technical team of the Ministry of Education to implement any program that is geared towards skilling every Uganda, whether someone has gone to school or not. Technical and vocation education and skills training, it kugamba, Ahabuku wako kore ntebe, tukuru kwe tanga kujikoro muru jungu. Nuhuwasa kujikoro muru nyankore, nuhuwasa kujikoro muru ganda, nuhuwasa kujikoro muru swahiri. So, nitujirangu burumu ntuwena. Oguno mjisha, ogufu movement, etuhire, kurebu kangu wajire choro kubasa kwe korera. Dero kareka kushavirza, nka keynote speak oku ya gamba, na chairperson oku ya gamba. So that reform, niyo yiturumu kujira ngu vumurimunya Uganda atunge skills. Ninyenda ku answer inge chintu chumu. Ninga shi to answer one of the requests by the chairperson of governing council. Uh, Chief guest, I want to say that government has almost finished disbursing money which is required to complete uh, this administration block. And that one I confirm because I am the one who initiated the requisition and I'm told it was honored. And I want also to say uh, that we shall continue working with you, especially with this young, vibrant parliament, which is also useful we are going to work with you to skill all Ugandans. Uh, I want to congratulate the graduates for us, Right Honorable Deputy Speaker, as Minister of Education, this is our accountability. So today, we have given accountability that when you apportion funds to us, we put them to the right use. Thank you very much. And with those words, Chief Guest, I want to take this opportunity, rare opportunity, poor law, poor me, to invite the right honorable deputy speaker of the Republic of Uganda to come and address this gathering. Thank you very much. Our main reason for being here today and the most important guests who are our Bagore, the graduates, we're not yet graduates, we're still graduates until you graduate. Our keynote speaker, the chairperson council, the principal, 
Our beloved Commissioner and the technical team from the Ministry of Education. Oh, my colleagues, members of Parliament and uh, the local government leadership, I take the opportunity to welcome the Chairman of C5 Mitoma, Mr. Benon Kadija, who came in later, for those who might not know him. He's my Chairman. I have a prepared speech as required under the protocols of my office. I think I'll pass it on to the school management, the institute management, and then I, I make my words, I make my speech here. <laughs> there are things I'm learning. Uh, you know, these positions, you're like a robot. <laughs> so you're programmed, you have to move this way. Yeah, that's a word. But we shall adjust row by row. And I didn't know what So um, I think we're in October. So I will mix because we have parents here. Kandi abazire abari kuchira kubabi ngashomese zavana no matu chino vuzivu. Titu kahindu ireho. Abazire abinja bakushomese zavana harza diploma za certificacy nubasha kubaba diya bazire venu mamunanga. So it's very important kurangu tuwa gambane mwe. Nareba muna nabu witu na narebile mzei bianyima. Aha. Tokureba. So, Harmuna Nava Kurgoanji were very close to me. So, Mwena, the parents, the graduates, congratulations. Man, I've taken note of a few things here. Number one, the low number of female graduates at 14.5%. This is totally unacceptable. Government has taken affirmative action measures to ensure that the girl child goes on to an equal footing to the boy child. That's why government had even introduced the 1.5% for university education. I think now, Commissioner, we need to design a deliberate policy that is going to help the girl child in the skills and technical sector because a girl child can do anything in this era. It's very, very important. I remember at Makere University, there is a time when we had in law school, we had 90% of the students admitted being females. So it's a shame we still have it here. And uh, I'm going to ensure that we talk about this with Equal Opportunities Commission so that it becomes a requirement of certificate of gender and equity when we are processing your budget. So that you as a ministry can design deliberate measures to help the girl child reach a certain level in the skills and technical uh, development sector. So with that, we should also, I'm going to implore, from here I'm going to write to the Minister of Education, so that we budget for a girls' hostel at this institution. Because it is insecure for girls to go and sleep in Rontuha, to go and sleep in Nyakabiriza Cross, to go sleep in Nibushe, Nishaka, Kabohe, and, you know, Nkakuriromu ni mpamanyanka shomera duyonza. Sinia ya mkaga, I finished it at duyonza. So I know the whole area very well. Okay? Tungu arechi nchoku jiro wa nini? Aha. Kandi nchoku wa ndakuwa rogu mchia kusema wa MP wanyo, wa mpajiri mnonga, ni mpamyoku nojangu tungu rogu mchia kechi tinka wire ndia. Our program is now in Hongka Janti Jaffa Nashara Maraka. I work with Silver Wakayaragan in Sekunch. 
nanti zir so narara ni tambura nchoko ibe naika so that one we are going to support it and once the proposal comes to parliament we shall ensure funding is approved for that project have the guards of state here and not only here but also in, in other technical uh, institutes to ensure that in the TV sector girls are given facilities we provide facilities for girls to be able just look at this breastfeed mother and you're telling her to be crossing the road all the time you know and mom congratulations um, I also want to take this opportunity to thank our keynote speaker. You spoke to my heart directly. Because you are speaking to me, who just went to Kampala in 2001, going to university, who studied in the Tereko from the Tereko, now it's impossible. That's why I was calling you, saying Yuna should help me on one of the roads. I don't even have where to pass. Eh? Eh? Yes. Uh, eh? So, the place where I come from, the president used and that's whether it was even part of Congo. But I managed to study from there, from primary one up to S4. If it had a university, maybe that's where I would have gone for university. But I've persevered, I've remained focused, and I dreamt big. And now I'm here. So, it's very, very important. The moment you dream big, and then you do good, you be disciplined, because these days you cannot just have, these days when you come to me and you say you want to work with me, I just look at your social media account. If I find you're just smoking shisha, you're ever in the bars, you're the one posing naked with girls, eh? then you don't qualify to work with me. You don't. Because I demand a very high level of discipline. When you're in my office, whether you're a cleaner, whether you're who, you're an ambassador for my office. If you are not disciplined, even if you're a plumber, you have to be smart in your plumbing uniform. Even if you're an electrician, you have to be smart in your working gown. So I demand a very high level of discipline. Young people, most of us, why we are facing problems is our indiscipline. Even some of these girls, why you're not getting married? It's because of your indiscipline. Yes. By the time the parent asks that, can you tell me something about this girl? They bring a whole village which has slept with you. And then you want my son to be the one to take you. I will say no. Yes, I will say no. Why bet you got a chabeg? Eh? gambomba nyankore nguwayo manyizobu nuzinkafe neno itu empi. Huh? So, so discipline is very important. Then So discipline is very important. Very, very important. And I request my fellow young people to be disciplined to be highly and highly disciplined if you are going to succeed in life. They doubt whether we can manage this country. But can you manage? So let's work hard. I see very many engineers here. I happen to be training some of your, some of your former students. I picked some two here. Now they are doing, one is doing civil engineering at Makere. They are young girls from my village and another one is doing mechanical engineering. Coming from here, upgrading. So this is just the beginning. Go on and work hard. Most of you, you're going to get jobs. Instead of marrying, please upgrade. Then, and you know, the moment in life, the moment you prepare yourself, don't rush to look for money. The moment you prepare yourself, money will look for you. Eh? Money will follow you. Sentence is no kura to turn kenoku zanga. Hey, you will find why am I saying that? You will find organizations are competing for you. And you're saying now I'm looking at other things. 
working hours, working conditions, the issue is no longer even pay. But it requires you to upgrade, it requires you to be focused, it requires you to know that you join institutions to transform them, not just add the, on the numbers, not just fill positions. The communities and nations have invested a lot in you. A lot, extremely a lot. Let's now pay back to our country by transforming it. Let's go and work in the villages. I get confused when I find when I need an electrician in Viteroko, an electrician comes from Ishaka. It pains me. And then you find some people from my area, they are writing in Kampara, calling me every day, I need a job. I have a diploma in electric engineering. I need a job, but I can't go to the village. Huh? So I encourage you, go to the villages. Do good work. Then you meet some of us. We shall help you to prepare we shall prepare you up, we shall help you to grow, and we shall work with you if you do really a lot for your communities. I want to encourage you to take advantage of programs like yoga, like parish model. Under the parish model, 30% of the money is going to be reserved for youth. 30% is going to be reserved for women. And the government has proposed to invest 100 million per parish every financial year. And it's going to be a revolving fund, which will be borrowing at only 6%. Now, you, you might be looking at yourselves as big. That, ah, my shinyon in Zakweb is a million. Am I going to borrow 2 million? You don't even have 50,000 and you're jogaring 2 million. Eh? Some of us, if you could know how we started, one day you will know my story. I will come and I give you my story. You will be totally shocked. Now I'm a son of a peasant, but I can never be a peasant. And my son can never be a peasant. Peasant ended with my dad. It will be a choice. I'll be, at your level, you will only be poor by choice. You can't have the skills you have, and then you'll be poor. But the problem is now, after hearing this, you want to drive the car I'm driving. So in the first job, you will steal. They send you to do procurement. You buy substandard equipment, keep in Jauru. But you're taking Njauro on your career. You're just taking Njauro of 50,000, but you're selling away the trust you could have. At your level, the only thing that can take you up is trust. The moment someone knows, I don't need to even count how many you know, bags of cement he has delivered, whether it's fake or genuine, he will start trusting you with billions. The moment I can trust you with my businesses, then I can even trust you with money to help you to grow. But most of us young people, the biggest problem we are having is we want to engage into get-rich-quick schemes. And where are you putting the money? It's because we are going to clubs at night and spending millions. You only have freedom. Nizakubaji. <laughs> Ati wava hurira. Principal, wava hurira. Ato munti yanjangu ninza kubaji. Ata ahumu office 
Siwe nori ijari kunji na unarugomu institute. Nijia kuwanza na ronda discipline ruko diyao. Yes. And tu ina influence. Otaka ature veraha. Winji ni watu wevuza ho. Na kuwa andi chile baru hanka kusindu kwa wa Madam Aremi. Na habana amanyangu kutire mutochi. So discipline nechi intu chukuru. Tiku jirebe tabobi yonka. You see that's why in the Bible. When God asks Solomon. He asks for wisdom. Now most of you you've acquired knowledge. But you've not acquired wisdom. Knowledge can include you passing exams. Okay? You can pass exams, you get a first class. But, what will you use that first class for? That's a wisdom. That's why you need wisdom. No wasa kujeju nisa, kugumano ujendo mubara no gambango in a first class. Kandi no woji ni ti, nori kukwa kanisa. Kwanke kure tera nebizu. Oshango wa pasa riyona akuraba. That's wisdom. So, discipline is part of wisdom. So I urge you to be disciplined. I request you. Ito wakaba titera imumuru wakuru mtuza kubateze vigambo kujangu mkunde mumanye okutu shichira. We don't, we have not attained our positions by accident. It's by design. I'm 41 years, some of you, mudiabe miyaka yangu. Hey, I'm 41 years. Some of you, my age mates, I have not reached where I've reached by accident. It's by design and by a deliberate effort and plan that I must achieve A, B, C, D. And I had to make a lot of sacrifices on world stuff. You will never find me an alcohol. Kandi nyowe oilese entezo kugagura tin kugagura. Konki mwa batazi ine ni gomkusiba. Ushango munti na kuteresi matimpa mecho kunywa. Kandi ta ino fees. This word is... Ninja are ni mwa kushaba mnonga ni mwetaga kushaba tukwezo tumanyetu zivete jomu nseji. But usually that happens with humanities. People of scientists, you are the most disciplined people. And that's why we are focusing as a government on even increasing your pay. So that we can support you wherever we have a scientist, whether it's a technical person, whether it's an engineer, whether it's an electrician, government and the president has made directives and parliament we have uh, uh, really, we are going by what the president has directed that we must improve the pay of scientists. Okay? So please I request you use that increased pay especially you young people to upgrade higher levels so that we can have a strong workforce in the country. Also, as parliament, we are going to pass the local content law to protect you. So that in the contracts, which Aaron, Madam Aaron Kajina, E.D. Yunra, and Engineer Silver sign, we say you must have a certain threshold of Ugandan employees. This business of finding Chinese food on our roads only. Let, let the Chinese bring Chinese who are highly qualified and we are learning from them. Not these ones of pushing wheelbarrows of measuring what. No. We have these people they can do it. And then we designed a deliberate policy that maybe in 20 years we shall even be protecting our jobs because we shall have enough skills, well prepared skills in the country that meet the international requirements of doing international projects. So uh, we have the local content bill that has come to parliament, and part of that bill is to protect your jobs. But the only way you can have your job protected if you can, is if you can perform it well. If you don't perform it well, then you're opening it up to competition. Um, as parliament, we pledge more support to the TV sector. And that's why any loan or any funding request that is proposed by government, Parliament has never rejected anything to do with the TVET sector and skills development. 
So we urge government to uh, allocate more money to the sector, and we as parliament, we shall approve it. But also, we have to see a way of designing policies that are deliberate to help even students, graduates of humanities, because each one of us has a talent, isn't it? Each one of us has a talent or has even a skill. But through training, you can identify and enhance that skill. So, so yeah? Hey, you come back here and acquire and then you be a helper on a building like this and you get money. You see, money knows no color. There is money which is written on he was a, it was acquired because he was a scientist. It was acquired because he was a doctor. Money is money. Ensure as long as you get it in a good way. This business of saying you don't want to make yourselves dirty no, that has to stop. Each one of us has to dirt in our hands, to dip our hands into the dirt, we clean up, we make money, and we transform uh, our country. Uh, so with those very many words, uh, Madam E.D., I was going to write to you, but now that I'm here, you, and you are here, they made a request that when you're rehabilitating the road from Bushengi to Mbarara, please include roads within this institution. I have seen KCCA did it for Makere University. All Makere University roads are now very good uh, when they were doing the road to Nakuragia. So please, if you include it, for us we shall provide the money. If you include it in the design. So let's transform this institution. Uh, number two, this institution now has whatever it takes to be a university. It has what it takes to be an investor. You have the infrastructure, you have the staff, you have the students. I think the financial implication would be very small if we made it a university. But if we are going to request for a university, let us put a caveat, a very clear one, that it will remain for technical studies, for technology. We don't go to the president, we promise him, and then after getting a license, and approval, we started development studies, social sciences, business studies, and we forget our core mandate. So I'm going to support you in this, and I'm going to bring it to the attention of the president and the government, and I'm going to write to the minister from here, requesting that we turn this institution into a university. Uh, Chairman Jaffa, the request you made that we make a law that will allow the institutions like this one to go into business. You don't need any law. The law is a sufficient. You don't need any other law. Any institution, let it be a church, let it be a government institution, you can start a business arm of the institution what we usually call a holding company. What you need is to consult with your ministry and with that Attorney General for guidance on the process. It must be owned 100% by the institution. It can be the governing council. Number two, it will be audited by the Auditor General, but you are allowed to do business. I did a concept for Makere University to start a, a holding company. I think I should share that concept with you. And they started it. And so far, they are doing well. You should start a holding company uh, to do business so that you start even bidding for these projects around, you know, the projects in Ubushenyi and everywhere. Uh, but don't only stop at that. Also, start an endowment fund. An endowment fund, and each student in the institution in the future. Harvard University has an endowment fund of over $50 billion. The budget of Uganda is $14 million billion. The endowment fund, the annual budget of Uganda is $14 billion. 
the endowment fund of Harvard University is $55 billion. Watch it ever. That's like an emergency fund. But also later on it's used for scholarships and what, and anyone who would want to donate to the university would donate to the university into the endowment fund. And even profits from the holding company would go into the endowment fund to secure the future of this institution 100 years from now. That's securing the future of generations which will come here. So that one I will share with the chairman. So um, the issue of raw capitation grant, I'm going to raise it uh, with the Minister of Education uh, so that we can follow it up. Um, yes, you know Kuba and Bonaha by taking advantage of raising government to your government. So I'm taking advantage of the support. I promise you all the support necessary. I'm going to meet the minister. Um, we've been working very, very closely, me and her, and we are going to ensure that indeed we follow up on these matters. Abaziri, ni nyenda kubasima, agwechi mwa akoziri. Oh, anjomu constituency, ntuire ni ngambra abaziri, bi njaba rionu wa ndete, rabana, ngumba sindi ke manya university, ha university, ha hatarmu, wa university buinje. As I think about Jerong Bahir as a basset at the fees of a young fees up on million Ibri, Ngubasar and Wakama Kumiata, and you will Kuratak and Zuka Basari or one is in Ghana and a fees of Wakama Kiri. So Babana Baheza, Bazomo Batan Kakotoro, Money and Dakubasima, Imabashas Remu Kretaba and Abanu Koga Jim Kono, because Rachi in Techish Chire, Havokuba government ya president in seven hati. Sente nyingi ne yenda kuziteka mubinte bie mikono. Wareba arechi ntechi tukweta cottage industries. Mwobu mtobu chobuche, mwobu kushanga, mwobu kuenda kore njizee bioma, kukora mwobu factory buche, mwena. Iha anganka India, mwobu chweka nka aga na mkaga harigana, mwobu iha anga diyabu. Mwobu koreza mwobu factory. Azo mwobu inji, Nivurugumu mashomo unkaga agebi ya mikono. So mbwenu mkozirechi ishire, imabanda wabo baba varionu varia mbaga za diguri. Otaka ura washa ashangunyo wa anjena adia ya certificate na riri ya diploma. Ababa ba hini, kongati ababa, mwaba tewe kanisa kujenda kwe kozesa, na uwa kakozesa na bandi. Mwabu ya kwa certificate, mwabu ya kwa diploma, na abasa kwe kozesa. Mweni yenda kwa sima, abuwa korechi ntechi chire, abaziro, mweni yenda korechi. Echa mweru, minyena nta abaziro, mwenkwa setisime president witu mseve na government ya NRM. Habuwa program eji, washa angechi ntechi chidya ahujuka kahayo kuya abire rijo. Oka shanga mazumangu government, eti iraha bilioni ezirikurenga makumi ata. Habuwa kwa ni milioni kumi ni itano za adoro. Ya azteka hawa mkaha bilion Ziriku rengo mzegi Na wasa kujeta Ah mwebebe zimbe kusha No harime bioma Government ya desirahe bioma biomu rembe Bioma biomu rembe Aba anabanyo nivaza kubani Vejerahe bioma Bintubikuru wako ejerahe biome Biri kuchirayo Biri kushanga nivazo mdeza Factory kampara Bari yonu nivazo mkore ngudo So ni nitu arogo mjisha Mungkwa setere kumwe President Mseve no mungaro Habwa progura meji Eriku ishiko mtu waburisho. Hawa kwa sente bakaba zite kumri za makere za chambo gokwe. Kwa mkati senta jizengu zijo mtu waburisho. Kandi ninza kumushaba. Ngogo mwanya agukwere mu university. Hawa nabanyu avarashomera gaha za diploma. Bagumize mba tungena diguri kurugaha. Ebene ingana na diguri ya makerele. Ni ingana na diguri ya chambo go. Ni ingana na diguri ya handi. Maybe you bring me nonga. I want to once again congratulate uh, my brothers and sisters. I feel great when I see young people achieving. I wish you all the best.
Karo zaba ni abushe ni no sasa tura zuku mire. Ona mamza kufuna chief guest ondi katari nkogu. Mutere ngaro. Abwebi ya tugambera, abwebi ya turagansa. Iyi people clap. We are very grateful. Mutere ngaro the TV2 way. Commissioner is going to lead you. The TV2 way. That's what she's asking me. Eh. Uh-huh. 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 munonga, abwe chwekecho, tifetuwe mwajura, burba mwebari inoveti vwa muri ngo guavo, chifu guest webare, abwe speechejo, na keynote speaker witu, abwe bugambo virunji, tuwe na tuwa yega. Na nyonga so marionzo. Ukonsijuro mwa kagumu. Ni mbera. Uweba le kutuzweche na kurunji. Na afuna obi. Chifu gesti. Turi abantu wa mana abantu wa rionzo. Ahasha eji. Na ninyenda mu nchiruze. Nyetaka demu ku registra. Agumuze mu echitweke chukura tao. Registra. Come and take over from here. observed, I have to be very brief because I know the dignitaries among us have so many other commitments. I'm only going to summarize in inviting our heads of department to do accountability that we are working. The others are sent apologies. Chief guests and the graduates uh, for the graduates, please, we are going to read your names. And when they read your names, you stand up and remove off your hood or uh, this cape. Then the presiding officer will be uh, awarding you. Having said that, I'm going to invite the head of department ceramics, will be number one to present students who completed the courses in his program, in his department. The second person will be the head of department, mechanical engineering, present programs for the award of higher diplomas in mechanical engineering and national diplomas in mechanical engineering. The third person will be the head of electrical engineering to read or to present uh, those who completed for higher diploma in electrical engineering and national diploma in electrical engineering who will be followed by the head of sections water and architecture and lastly will be the head of civil engineering to present candidates for the higher diploma in civil engineering and national diploma in civil engineering. Thank you, Mr. Head of Department. Your friend. Thank you. The executive secretary, sir, I take the honor to present the, the student below who successfully completed his studies for the award of national diploma in ceramics engineering by the Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. I have a Ziga Onyx, Emanzi Rake, Kamugisha Samir, Mauro Amina, Nuwahere za Emily, Sejiri Nyasam, and Turiahabwe Owen. By the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate you for the award of the National Diploma in Ceramics Engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board.
the executive sec secretary. So I take this honor to present the students below who have successfully completed their studies for the award of Higher National Diploma in Mechanical Engineering by the Uganda Business and Technical Education Board. I invite Peter Mulovera Iman Simon, Omoding Peter, Senyon Ali, and Tumusine Benjamin. By the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the National Diploma in Higher Mechanical Engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. The Executive Secretary, sir, I take the honor to present the following students who have successfully completed their studies for the award of National Diploma in Mechanical Engineering by the Uganda Business and Technical Examination Board. Agaba Christian, Agaba Isaac, Agaba Lauben, Agaba Trevor, Aikiza Benjamin, Ahumza Owen, Ainebiona Bruce, Ainebiona Crisper, Ainem uh, 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 Vincent, Ainem Babas Hirari, Akwanako Kolb, Aman Colin, Aman Osbet, Aluo Ben Nadenta, Ali Kiriza Felix, Alinda Rogers, Aluho Brinton, Asasra Masters, Asimwe Brian, Atu Haile Agatha Blessing Miss, Atu Haile Ian, Atu Kwase Onesmas, Atu Izuki Re, Modan, Atu Kirize Nobat, Wagaba Bowen, Baguma Alex, Bamwes J. Atol, Batalingaya Arnold, Bahuera Kenneth, Bess J. Adri, Edwin, Bidamu Charis, Biamugisha Owen, Yamukama Jonan, Bialuhanga Ambrose, Gam Gashamba Timoth, Hiswa Benefancio, Kakuru Peter, Kalahu Hakayo Sulaiman, Katushabe Robert, Katwes J. Edwin, Kawes Amlan, Kawuchi Abakar, Chihembo Abboaz, Komugisha Anita Miss, Charwazi Abdu, Maniga Mukama Lidon, Masereka Joshua, Masiko Gabriel, Mondo Amon Kagonyera, Mugisha Viato, Muhire Onesmas, Muhumza Akim, Muwezi Amon, Muwezi Arthur, Muwezi Edmond, Mulinzi Julius, Mulema Christopher, Mwebaza Augusta, Mwine Joshua Albert, Mwine John, Mwongera Breira, Nazuna Gilbert, Nasasi Rayona, Natuguma, Natugumia, Kedin, Kenneth, Kedin, Kendi, Natukunda, Eunice, Miss, Natulinda, Innocent, Natuizuka, Pafras, Ndiamuhachi, Augustine, Ngavirano, Francis, Nimuesiga, Nimuesiga, Alinaitwe, Nuebiona, Brian, Ntege Fred, Numa Alan, Nuwamanya Ambrose, Nuwasaba Nobat, Odong Emmanuel, Lucas Peter, Lutembesa Dagaras, Sande Pong, Sendagala Hamid, Talema Pison, Tiba Manya Benedicto, Wine William, Kumuhimbise Lodia, Kumusimwe Michael, Kumwe Mbaze, Mwebaze Ivan, Kulihohawe Onyx, Kulinawe Jonan, Kuliahawe Abias, Kuliamoreva, Alozas, Kuliamsemerei, Darius, 
tuliasi ma pastor tuweba tuweba ze Ivan twezi kiri kizire Lisbon ina masko Patrick a John Patrick ina ina muzuni Julius by the authority entrusted to me I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the national diploma in mechanical engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. The Executive Secretary, sir, I take the honor to present the following students who successfully completed their studies for the award of higher national diploma in electrical engineering by the Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. Juko Habat and Kayunza Mary. By the, by the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the National Diploma in Higher Electrical Engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. The Executive Secretary, sir, I take the honor to present the following students who successfully completed their studies for the award of National Diploma in Electrical Engineering by the Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. Abirebe James, Agaba Francis, Agaba Justus, Agaba Sison, IMCV Onesmans, Ainembabas Bridget, Akankwasa Fiona, Akansa Sarah Gilbert, Amari Maureen Lydia, Amanya Arosias, Omuhimbia Oswad, Amtuhire Shannon, Ashaba Sandra, Ashabahe wa Anita, Asime Victor, Atuhaire Fiona, Atuhaire Rita, Atkwase Ronald, Ayabare Hope, Ayabazibuwe Moses, Bakashaba Bruce, Bakashaba Rahanga Cosmos, Batambuze Kenos, Virunji Joan, Virunji Zabron, Businge Owen, Biaba Gambi Brian, Biekora Fortunate, Gumisiriza Esau, Gumisiriza Dismas, Isinguma Joseph, Kabuye Pius, Kabojo Ronald, Kakembo Musa, Kakuri Charles, Kakwenzi Venus, Kamujisha Dennis, Kamukama Cosmos, Kamuesiga Deus, Kasiga Zimoses, Katende Sadi, Kato Paulo, Katusime Makrin, Katwesi Jem Martin, Kajungu David, Kenya News Janina, Chihendo Ruth, Chiza Edward, Chinene Hisham, Komujisa Rachel, Kumhanj Praise, Chagera Mathias, Magezi Alex, Muganzi Robinson, Mujisha Amon, Mujizi Daniel, Mujini John Bosco, Mukunzi Rook, Mushabe Bernard, Muska Kurimaton, Musime Julius, Muska Antonio, Musime Muzi Woodboard, Mwerinde Ben, Mwongera Aniba, Naba Yinda Getrud, Na, na Vega, Glorious, Na Kabare Joseph Mukisa, Na Andara Jarius, Na Sasira Joel, Na Sasira Rogers, Na Tijuka Kormuz, Ni Musima Ronald, Ni Musima Immaturet, Ni Musima Naume, Noamani Emmanuel, Nisamba Julius, Nishavire Jonan, Nwagawa John, Nwagawa Pison, Nware Wa Hilare, Nware Indariko, Nwenye Sigasauru, Nyongera, Derrick, Okro, Francis, Opendi Junior, Owama Zima James, Shiring John, Tarema Michael, Tugume Morris Karhanga, Tumahayugo Charlotte, Tumeba Ze Paolo, Tumwesi Je Arvin, Tumwesi Je Dixon, Tumwene Robin, Tugasim Duncan, Tuesime Simon, Tuyenamasko Amos, Tuyenamasko Roger, Vubia Arosias, and Wamara McKevin. By the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the National Diploma in Electrical Engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. Executive Secretary, sir, I take the honor to present the following students who have successfully completed their studies in the award for the award of National Diploma in Architecture by the Uganda Business and Technical Examination Board. 
Akampa Arbat, Ariata Onesmas, Abaho Abel, Abindianam, Abindian, Abin, Abindan, Abinda, 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 Amon, Agaba Aran, Agaba Asa, Amanya, Noamanya, Ampire Edison, Arnito Christoph, Arinda Alex, Ariat Kwasa, Ronald, Ashaba Hebra Aran, Asimwe Emmanuel, Asimwe Isaac, Asimwe Ronald, At Kunzire Boniface, At Basime Brian, Brigham Mayshod Dismas, Chiza Kreya, Mrs. Garwago Peterson, Habamujisha, Benjamin, Jemba, Jamba Ivan, Karibara Moses, Katsime Praise, Sachi Josam, Kwarsima Benea, Kwarsima Seis, Masko Duncan, Mugabirwe, Robert, Mujisha Aran. Mujisha Mchungus Paul, Muhumza Abias, Muhumza Nicholas, Muhumuze Derek, Muhezi Charles, Muhezi Collins, Mujun Franca, Musimenta, Sherry, Mustika Arnold, Mujungu Jacqueline, Nahamia Dixon, Nahamia Godwin, Nachibuye Susan, Namanya Godwin, Nasasra Saison, Natmanya Wilbert, Ndiamba Alex, Nigirinya, Nigiyamana Benjamin, Nwebiha John, Nwama Nibrae Brea, Nwajera Osbert, Nwangumia Crispus, Nwama Nya Duncan, Nwama Nya Charite, Nwareba Ivan, Rukwata Derek, Tayegwa Julian, Tugume Comfort, Tijenda Nabu Geoffrey, Turinawe Dennis, Turinawe Rocha, Turja Tunga Ime, Turja Tunga Robert, Shave and Shave Joseph. Joseph. By the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the National Diploma in Architecture of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. The Executive Secretary, sir, I take the honor to present the following students who have successfully completed their studies for award of National Diploma in Water Engineering by Uganda Business and Technical Examination Board. Abasa Jordan, Agaba Powell, Paul, Ahabwe Solomon, Ahereza Eric, Aigo Farida, Ainomujisha Anatolius, Akankwasa Patience, Akatamba Stewart, Amutire Joanita, Aine Alex, Ashaba Praise, Asimere Rebecca, Asimwe Emere, Atire Sara, Atire Prose, Atkunda Penina, Atkwase Andrew, Ayevare Nicholas, Ayes J. Raymon, Businje Kenes, Yamujisha Ronald, Yamukama Girard, Kakur Ambrose, Kamanz Peter, Kamujisha Emmanuel, Kayes J. Marka, Kashij, Kasaja, Michael, Chomukama Lilian, Magezi Asharaf, Matov Kelvin Peter, Mugabe Brave, Mohanj Esau, Maranjira Bruno, Musimenta Kenes, Musinguze Asa, Mutele Ra Christian, Ahabwe Glorious, Nahuera Fausta, Na Juna Chris, Na Sasra Joshua, Na Tuera Hape, Na Tkunda Marion, Na Evare Winfred, Nwandi Indagirad, Nkurziza Emmanuel, 
Nachinde More, Niwaha Abason, Nuwarinda Serias, Nyangoma Joan, Nira Mahoro Christian, Segurubi Eric Nassan, Gume Ersam, Tumuhimbse Oscar, Tumuhiche, Tumuhiche Norin, Singwire Nabos, Tangui, Tangani, Tuehangane, Africano, Tuinomu Jonerake, and Tuinomu Wire. By the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the National Diploma in Water Engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. The Visiting Secretary Sang, I take the honor to present the following students who have successfully completed their studies for the award of Higher National Diploma in Civil Engineering by Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. Abahena Makwell, Ampe Kenes, Arho Benjamin, Ariampo Yarabek, Asasara Karolin, Atkwase James, Baruk James, Barige Andrew, Bavakure Jervazilio, Esaire John, Harilmana Stephen, Ingabi de Peace, Isingo Maronard, Kabu Yes Charles, Karamuz Charles, Kazungu Gideon, Kemi Sharusera, Chugun Dickens, Chiza William, Kusima Arbat, Rwangam Zaifa, Murins Dennis, Murisa Rogers, Mwesije Isaac, Naigono Jude, Natuzuka Aaron, Nayeware Anita, Mkwasiwa Samuel, Noxinjiza Sostin, and Oburu Peter. Sorry, oh, we have another group. Ogeng, Moses Silva, Okero Bob, Bosco, Pira Jackson, Wehajira Benan, Tinyefuza Corins, Turiasima, Richard, and Twinamasco, Zirba, Bear. By the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the National Diploma in Higher Civil Engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. The Executive Secretary, sir, I take the honor to present the following students who successfully completed their studies for the award of a national diploma in civil engineering by Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. Abaho Aban, Abaho Isaac, Abe Gracious, Abgawa Masias, Abgawa Vian, Agawa Samuel, Agawa Isaac, Agawa Jonan, Agawa Ruth King, Agawa Ovias, Ahawa Joshua, Ahawa Wikrif, Ahawe Alex, Ahawe Paul, Akanyu Zuka, Ahichiriza Bruce, Ahimsiwe Didas, Ahimsiwe Innocent, Ahumza Kuris, Ahumza Innocent, Ahumza Stuart, Ahizuka Julius, Ahizuka Morris, Ahizuka Pasius Ismail, Ahinama Zumashaira, Ahine Aran Asimwe, Ahine Javan, Ahine Raymond, Ahine Biona Amon, Ahine Biona Samuel. I remember was Ada, I remember was Gifty, I remember was Regan, I remember Kama Bonaventure, I remember was Sassin Washawa, Akahuma and Abbas, Akamusaga area, Akampur Rayona, Akamta Rodene, Akankwasa Edmund Chiza, Akankwasa Joseph, Akankwasa Nabus, Akankwasa Ronald, Akatura Richard, Akatura Susan, Amanya Agure, Amanya Andrew, Amanya Aston, Amanya Brighton, Amanya Jonathan, Amanya Osbat, Amanya Mkama Darius, Ampire Masse, Amumpire Arnold, Amutire Mark, Ankunda Fiona, Ankunda Wilson, Ansimre Ruina, Anyuzuka Godwin Mandera, Ariyama Nyojastas, Arimach Francis, Arige Arbat, Arho Aran, Arho Koreb. 
Arho Enos, Arho Precious, Arho Nassim, Samson, Arimpa Agure, Arnito Brian, Arnito Desire, Arnani Prosper, Arinda Ben, Arho Andrew, Ariza Alex, Ariato Precious, Asasara Benjamin, Asasara Davis, Asasara Ronjuno, Ashawa Jirva, Asimwe Katoko Ozi, Asimwe John Bosco, Asimwe Pita, Atfira Dirk, Atfira Meron, Atfira Ronnie, Atfami Arbat, Atfira Martin, Atkunda Reni, Atkwasa Jovind, Atwebembira Dishan, Atwina Felix, Atwongira Demian, Award Ben, Ayabari Arvin, Ayabari Promise, Bashira Nicholas, Bakunz Ansone, Bamwine, Hare. Banyanga Ashim, Barecha Daniel, Bariaya Kahirare, Basimwe Owishaka, Bataringa Arnold, Bevaze Brian, Behangana Robert, Beine Francis, Bezuna Saison, Besige Junior, Betungura, Uzaya, Bijurwa Richard, Binom Shadrand, Birunj Emery, Birgo Misho Agure, Bukenya John, Bambare Walter, Biamusha Banabas, Biamusha Evans, Biamkama Alex, Biamkama Sandra, Biargava Nasan, Chandia Lawrence, Gumisaraza Aaron, Gumoshawe John, Hafshimana Jude Tadeho, Hashachimana Joachim, Jingo Lawrence Chivirije, Kawanda Aaron, Kavijamu Gaston, Kadu Tone, Kagwa Aaron Dutch, Kahanjire Benson, Kakavero Arnold, Kakuru Mashias, Kamsime Eria, Kamwesega Arosias, Kananura Levi, Kansime Davis, Kansime John, Kanya Sije Osubat, Kanyima Simon, Karhanga Nicholas, Karhanga Ire, Katambi Hamba Morris, Kato Dennis Turgomwe, Kato Hira Retumsime, Kato Innocent, Kato Rebe Kenes, Kato Shave Judis, Kato Sije Abraham, Kemba Bazi, Bono Consir, Kemirum, Meron Katunje, Chichoncho Monik, Chumuri Junme Senteza, Chisara Yona, Kisa Isaac Kuranima, Kongera Peace Patience, Kwesaga Nimrod, Chawandho Victor, Chat Simir Oliver, Chom Hendo Rita, Mate, Mate Moses Sembo, Mandela Nelson, Maserika Moses, Masko Isidore, Masko Derka, Masko Edwin. Masko Anast, Mbabaz Korinz, Mbaza Narugamba, Israel. Mbanyobyan Bruno, Mubasa Watson, Muchures Emmanuel, Mugabe Vicent, Mugara Hirare, Mugara Mashias, Mugara Rogers, Mugera Oscar Edward, Mujerwa Benjamin, Mujisha Clinton, Mujisha Ivan, Mugumen Noel, Mohame Agabito, Mohame Obed, Mohamia Adia Aidan, Mohanji Broson, Mohan, Mohanji Glorious, Mohanguz Oswald, Muhirwa Collins, Muheraza Amon, Muheraza Obed Mupenda, Muhendo Dovik, Muhumza Emmanuel, Muhumza Frank, Muhumza Ivan, Muhumza John, Muhumza Victor, Muhere Edmond, Muhez Bruce, Muhez Denise, Muhez Ronald. Muzuruz Andrew, Muzuruz Pius, Mukama Agrias, Muchisa Moses, Mukundane Julian, Murundi Dorin, Musasas Brighton, Musime Solomon, Muska Brighton, Musime Nta Leonida, Musime Nta Mere, Musime Nta Nazaifa, Musinguz Weren, Mutabazi Emmanuel, Mutabazi Stephen, Mutunji Michael, Mutunji Rehe Abakel, Muyambi William, Muzora Emmanuel, Mwewesa Whisper, Mwesu Gwa Aran, Mwesi Jemak, Mwisha Bobson, Mwonjara Henry, Nagasha Erasmus, Nawaterega Araf, Nawera Daniel, Nayuka Arnold, Nayuka Fiona, Namanya Ezra, Namara Bruce, Nampi Jaswabla, Nankunda Edmond, na Nanta Ambirake, Nasasara Jackson. Nasasara Obed, Nasasara Oscar, Nasasara Stanley, Nasasara Ronnie, Natamba John, Natok Rispas, Natwera Abias, Natwera Danson, Natkunda Lilian, Natkunda Naume, 
na tuinjere freedom na tuisuka Anthony na yamba kwarte na yewale Ambrose na yewale Innocent ndaura Ronald ndundio arhang area ndha wajone san ngabira no Collins ngabira no James ngamije Elizabeth nicha ya simere Sharon ni mkunda Honest ni mwesi Gabriela ni nsima Ephraim ni nsima Mergerdo ni waga wa Macrin ni wanya siga Samuel nsime nta Andrew nsime Isaac imbatacha za Ivan ni waga wa Dennis ni waga wa Gilbert ni waga wa Isaac ni waga wa Richard ni wajira Agre ni wajira Sensius ni waheraza Karolin Nuwamanya Darius, Nuwamanya Godfrey, Nuwamanya Julius, Nuwasasara Julian, Nuwasasara Noah, Nyesiga Ambrose, Owumwe Innocent, Okeng Rafael Benefans, Ora Elijah, Oishanga Bob, Oweka Stephen, Owumucha Dennis, Owori Geoffrey, Oishija Mukama Breya, Rubagumia Bills, Ruhangario Rogers, Ruhumura za Nicholas, Rukundo Nicholas, Rumanyoha Fred, Sentongo Joseph, Sekamate Shafi, Sempija David, Semuju Regan, Ronald, Sengendo Joseph, Sentongo Ronald, Taremwa Elvis, Rwangoga, Taremwa ja Taremwa Saul, Sembo Gaspre, Tindiawa Didi Didas, Tindewa Owen. Tugabiru wa Jacqueline, Tugume Anthony, Tugume Christopher, Tukamuhe wa Lawrence, Tukamusha wa Afra, Tukwasi wa Cosmos, Tukwasi wa Monitor, Tumuhisa Richard, Tumuhimbi se Coronius, Tumkunde Firmon, Tumushime Aran, Tumusime Andrew, Tumusime Asa, Tumusime David, Tumusime Didas, Tumusime Edgar, Tumusime Edward, Tumsime Watson, tumwe wa the comrade, tumwe si ya precious, tumine Alex, tuliagma na wa Nicholas, tuliam hera za Godwin, tuliam hikane kemia, tuliasingura Andrew, tuliasingura Marcius, tuliasingura Richard, tuliatunga Felix, tumsime Daphne, tuinomuisha Ernest, tuinomuisha Ivan, owima na mbonye Dixon, and Sorry, there is one game Hassan, then Yiga William and Zididamu Ronald. By the authority entrusted to me, I congratulate all those whose names have been read for the award of the National Diploma in Civil Engineering of Uganda Business and Technical Examinations Board. <laughs> Abazire, abeja hatu bazuara, tu wachi graduate, hatu ntubeta graduate. Ninyeda kubasima, ahabga izoberi, kureba mwaba hobi njumuti. Ebi agenda kubi, numuza kubitu sasra, hatu nyewe programu ya anje nigo wa jisi ya mweru, kuonga mchirze, shishe hobi ile kache, teje elizabe ntebeji, Absorbing a program. Munchirze, see me keynote speaker with Ogundo Munuda Mununi Gigana, Nuo Muntome, Avantu Vinji, Companies Ninji, as well employing Avana Vinji, Ava Uganda Tech and Co College of Shen. In 2018 alone, at least I was in that office. I recommended 10 students, 5 mechanical and 5 civil engineering students. Abani kuma buna recommend injire abana munana bona yunu rekabatwara abana batano abamekanuko bakabantu bazakora bidieri yunu rekabana yombeke bidieri and they are all there they are well facilitated they are doing very well we thank you for that burumwaka yunu ranetwara abana binji bokuzakora industrial training burumwana rukusabo mu yunura the agenda head offices through the human resource office at least. Sanabana and Boba Kwejirobu Nafu. Ahabuokuwa, 
ahi ba kubajira ngumutore ni ba kuteka stationer kuberuwe mirumu. So every year, at least the UNRWA has made a very big contribution. So getting you as our chief guest, it was not wrong. To as a Kora Tracer study, you have a very big number of the UTC graduates you are really taking on. Duko onjera kushisha, wiro no konjera kwa chira wa wasende cherize chief guest. Nyeda kusima wa national water, a chairman with our governing council harukuruga. Ogo mushisha, abanyabushe nyi, we are very lucky to have him today. Na angwano kukoro omu institution yituweji. Mweshi yituwe chief guest, madam Arena Kajena, tuwa turu kushikari yari. Wewale mnonga, omu amisirva mujisha, doctor, engineer, na no kutujiruwe mchara munu njuhu mwete, kando rukwewe mberaka chiko ke education, abuwa usheni district. Kando no kujango wile abuwa wabutaro, uwa no kujechi huwa gamba kukambwe nu programu nukwe tuwa zukora tutio, na uza kutusasra, MPO nizo liyaha, weba rekwiji. Mweni mwaba eza kuzwara, mwinchiri zemba anzuru wa mtu mkuru, omuku za kunetu wakinga nawe, obuwa kweta, magoba atha, who is the president of the alumni association. So from here, Baba Jirangutu Networking, and Abantu are responsible. Ugo Mishija na Koromu Ministry of Internal Affairs. Principal na andakuza France, haba atine passport, era passport yeye iza na yu. So he's our president of the alumni association. Ya asende chere zibwe, omusuga zondi zoba kweta senyondo Alexi, who was our guild speaker here, Akashoma hana akoromu teke la abunu konsartanti hati ni engineer and na masters. So we want to welcome all of you. Ahabu woku isha kukule singo mkologu. Nyewesha heza anjeno shana zukwata. Programu ya anjete ine shonga. Wawa no manyango ine kadi ya red na kadi ya blue. Bajukire from here immediately after we have dissolved this congregation. We are going to meet in this for further discussion. Then the other invited guests, we have another serving table here. We shall move to that table. Abazire, Mueva Rekuja, graduates, congratulations. On this note, allow me to invite the presiding officer to dissolve this congregation, and then we shall conclude with the ban. Band, get ready as we conclude this function. Thanks everybody for coming. By the authority entrusted to me, I deserve this Thoros Graduation Congregation of Uganda, Teke Niko College Bishen. Yatsi Ibra, Abatakura Ruzungu Ngutujende, Tuzekuri Yapate Zitu. So, Mwewa Rekuja, Bandi, Mutuwewa Mbere Turuga. Bandi, we are ending with anthems. The way we started is the way we should end. Bandi, you lead us as we get out of this place. 
Band leaders. Awas we rega unuzungo kutuja nukwe turagarukeyo. Abi neka disarede na blue kind of smith here for something small. Abas, Abas is the higher OUTC villa. Sorry. <laughs> So, Nkoktu Atandika, Nkoktu Atandika, let's join this, our MPs. MPs, Mr. Joram, this time move with this group. For you, you came are, but this is where. So, band leaders. Members of staff present. We recognize your presence. Principal BVI, we are happy to be with you. Principal Wumbi, the Technical Institute. Principal Chizowa, Technical School. And Principal Nyamitanga was also here. I want to welcome all of you. Staff members here, we are going to have our lunch in the auditorium. Abeji, Muzekuri Apatezanyu, that's all we could offer to you. So, we want to thank you. We want to thank you all for coming. Mwebare kutulete la depte speaker. Nava mwabari yomu numukoromu yunu la. Mwasheme zakanu mwenu mwabone la. So. Kora veno manyango ine kadi ya ready. Kadi ya ready. Oye meru hachi zimbechi. Echitukweta nkamei nuho. Na kadi ya blue. Kando kwe ntupa manyamisho. So tukweta gaba ntubinji. All other invited guests. So, abando wana ba jenyabe surwe, tuzakurira ha, ha, a serving center here. Imebo abeje. Numaraka nyaki tu kafunzire muzete zebi shana. Abeji murgo mutenzi. Abeji. Ore abe na manyango inekadi ya red na blue. Aza. Ah. Awazire muare.
ndia ah bijirwa no man yo ninze kore kire ego ndia ego all those ones with red cards and blue cards red cards and blue cards let's meet here as we find out to, to find meals there is somebody who lost a phone arona kashanekeye there is a phone here a smartphone check yourselves if you don't have that phone kindly come and pick your phone mr bernard at have in your capacity come and take this group eh? If you know you have a blue card, a red card, kindly get to me here. Ready. They are sponsoring 25 students. They were here with us. You will forgive us for not giving them time to, to, to say something, but they are here with us. Baget president I want to recognize you. I want to thank you for your work. Derek, you did very well wherever you are. Derek, we thank you. Women Affairs Minister Namreba. Joachim is also graduating today. We are so happy to receive you today. Current guild president uh, under your regime. We have successfully had this function. We are very happy. Thanks for mobilizing students. We are okay. So ma bati wazwara. So ababa sende cheri zende bare ma Alexi. Numuza kutsa sira abasho ma bambaraka. Tayi programu ya wakari. Konga nde bare ma Alexi. Omweji arukso masivo engineering yazwara. So we want to congratulate all of you.
Você não vai só arrasar o que não